and the particular thing we're doing here was to was to look at one of the standard methods of, of crop establishment and assessing the effect of different tyre pressures on the tractor, on the drill tractor. The effect of the pressures, let, let, let's look for a start at the higher pressure one here and what I've tried to do, you, uh, you, you can see the depth we powered it to can't you? We, we, we powered it down to about there and it's a nice crumb and once we get down to this level where we're in line with the actual wheel of the of the tractor, high pressure, got a little bit of a looser bit here where the eradicator went but hopefully you can appreciate either side of that this this is quite low porosity soil and it, it's it's not behaving itself when you try and move it it's sort of shearing off horizontally and there's not many pores in that so working my way down through eventually it starts to feel a little softer when we get almost down to plough depth did a bit of bit of squeezing gone on there there's not a lot of pores left in that bit we get down to about this depth here and we're probably through the worst of the of, of the of the consolidation of course the higher pressure deeper rut really clearly seen on the trailer example but it's happening underneath the power you just can't see it deeper rut we've shuffled a load of fines on top created a nice seed bed but this this level here of compaction if we drill this field seed soil contact super it's going to grow it's going to strike it's going to grow pretty quickly if your soil tends to break and shear horizontally as this is tending to do as opposed to over here where we've not got any wheeling effect and you can see hopefully the big difference here where we haven't had a wheeling effect it's just different again crumbles so the roots here are going to get, get down to that if we have a shower of rain as we might well do in, a, in an hour or two's time I'll guarantee that that'll start to hold water up in that level and, and we've now got a race on next door the plants can grow into this porous structure open it up and get through it here if we didn't have much rain then <coughs> roots are going to suck the moisture out and this is going to get tougher and tougher to the point where the root can't get through it if you have a little and often rain if we're lucky we may well get the best of both worlds and eventually roots will find their way around here and through it and down in this zone and we'll probably get away with it but it's still a compromise equally if it, if it comes really wet this will lay so wet here that it'll just hold the water either side of that hopefully you can appreciate is a big difference and this is the commercial high pressure uh, tyre which even just digging the hole it's harder work to dig the hole than either of the other two by some considerable margin and you can see the the way the the soil's coming out the hole very very platy compacted structure so <coughs> remembering that we've got the same axle load as the other two a narrower tyre so and a very much higher ground pressure because of the inflation pressure being significantly higher you, you can see considerably more compacted soil less less pores in it less openness in it so from that point of view there's going to be less chance for roots to pass down through easily less chance for water to drain through less chance for you know, optimum conditions of porosity uh, within that within that sort of profile because we've got the same uh, axle load I'm not anticipating there being a, a massive increase in the depth of, of, of total compaction but the severity of it has gone up because we've got much higher pressure in the tyres so <coughs> yes we've got a deeper rut so relative to original ground surface we've got a deeper effect and we, but we've also got a much more pronounced tighter effect on the soil so you can probably see here you know the, there's not really a lot of openness left in the structure there's very tight porosity 
no real chance for water to get through and obviously these roots are already there but for new roots to grow down will be more of a challenge. The example of the commercial very high pressured tyres, the commercial super singles, it's highly likely that you'd have to do more than a, a standard operation to alleviate that so rather than just be able to plough it out for example you might well have to go a bit deeper and get subsoiler so it might be certainly a deeper pass if not another pass to try and get that to try and get that alleviated so that's really before we've started to look at what it costs to pull that trailer across the field see if it's rutting and compacting the soil more you're basically driving that that trailer and those wheels uphill all the while out of the rut and the more you drive uphill the more, the more it costs you in terms of power and fuel consumption so we, we've got a double whammy here we've got the effect on the soil structure and then we've got the effect on diesel use and everything else in terms of efficiency so uh, if, if we can minimize pressure we minimize the severity of that compaction so very low ground pressure just see how it crumbles it will just fall away into the hole hopefully you can also see with, with more porosity in here and we, we've got more crumb more natural crumb structure there's a much better chance for water infiltrating and if you look if you look at the surface you can you can see we haven't actually sealed the surface it, it's still got fishes in it it's still got the ability for you know water to get down through that we've illustrated the two extremes really we've We've got tyres here that are inflated for field. They're down to one bar. one bar. And down the road, if you're going high speed down the road, it's likely you'd have to consider putting them slightly higher pressure, hence the middle, the middle ground, the middle example here. Basically with the right tyre gear you can you can minimise the effect and I think as importantly is, is you'd minimise any corrective action that you've got to take and the cost of that. So we've got the same tyres as the very low ground pressure at one bar and these are inflated to three and a half bar. So these represent the capability to go down the road at 60 kilometres an hour um, and that's all about reducing the the violence if you like of the flexing as the as the tyres rotate. So we're exerting more pressure on the ground by definition because they're, 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 they're inflated higher. So we're going to expect to be able to, to, to find that not quite as, as, as porous as the, as the optimum example. And hopefully you can see that there, can't you? Just a little bit more effort needed to, 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 to move those aggregates. But We've limited the extent of the damage to something that you would take out with most field cultivations. So, in, in real terms, the, the, the depth below original ground surface probably certainly less than 20 centimetres, probably what 17, 18 centimetres here. 